Hey everyone, uh, my name is Francesca and I'm one of Akasha's friends and today I'm filming my own video for her channel. Um, she's doing this thing where, um, why can't I talk? She's doing this thing where she has her friends film different videos to post on her channel to see if they would be interested in making their own YouTube videos or making their own channel. And for a really long time, I've had a lot of people tell me that I should make my own channel and how they would watch and subscribe and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, well maybe. Um, I feel like I haven't been super comfortable with like filming myself and like reviewing the footage. But once she mentioned this idea, I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Like this is a way where I can finally like experiment with this and see if anyone would actually watch my content. So today for my video, I'm going to be recording just like everyday makeup, get ready with me. And I'm just gonna be talking about random stuff, giving insight about like, like who I am, stuff I like, stuff I do, and just be talking about like my life, my opinions on things, just like different comments that come to my head. Usually I'm good at like thinking of topics to talk about. I've actually filmed this at my own house. I'm at her house right now. I filmed this one other time, but um, it like got pixelated and I wasn't able to send it to her because um, we deleted it off her camera. So I'm just refilming it at her house with all her lighting equipment and everything. It's gonna get started. My skin's a little red because I was doing a face mask. It was the, um, it was like the Aztec face mask. It's the one that comes in the big jar and it's all powder and you put like apple, um, what is it? Apple cider vinegar, is that what it is? You put the apple cider vinegar in it and you mix it up and it gets like really clumpy and then you put it on your face and like crusts up and it hurts like really bad. Like literally I had to like scrub it off, but it works great. Like. A lot of my acne has gone away. I mean, I'm breaking out like a little bit, but I'm gonna be putting my bangs up to do my makeup. First, gonna start with my um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But I got it at Sephora um, in a set. Okay. All right, now, you can see my five head now. Um, so I'm gonna be using this moisturizer first, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Face Mask, or not mask, moisturizer. All right, so I just moisturize my face with this. That's usually what I do. I also have a Mario Badescu moisturizer, but I don't know if it's good though, because I feel like I broke out after I started using it, but whatever. So I'm using this mirror right here. Oh, there y'all are. Me and Akasha became friends when we were like sophomores in high school. I used to go to her high school, but then I moved um, schools. Oh shit, I need to wet this. Okay, so anyway. And so we met in our history class. We were in um, world history, I guess. And I think we had to do like a group project or something, or I forgot what happened, but she might remember, but we had to like, I like moved to where she was sitting or like near her table or something like that one day, like during like our study hall, like our IT, whatever it was called. I forget what we were even talking about, but I think we talked about how like we didn't like somebody, and then we were like, oh, I don't like them either. Ah. And then we like just like start talking and just like we add each other on Snap, and then we just like became friends really easily. Like it was always like a really natural like friendship. Like we never really like had to force much like, and there were times where like, when I did move, like we didn't like see each other for a while or like didn't talk, but like once we did like reconnect, we were able to like talk and like hang out and stuff. So yeah. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Goof Proof eyebrow pencil and it's in three. But yeah, I always start with my eyebrows first. I just like recently have stopped using foundation. I don't really like wearing it that much. But yeah, that's how me and Akasha met, and we've been like really good friends ever since. One of my best friends, honestly. We used to, when we were in high school, we used to do like photo shoots and stuff together. And now she has this YouTube channel, which I think is great for her because she's always done like photography and like film and everything. So I think it's really cool. But yeah, I was so on board with this idea. I thought it was a super good idea. And I'm interested to see if anyone else she knows films videos. But yeah, so we are both in college and tomorrow I actually start my class. My fall semester tomorrow. Girl, if you're watching this, you're gonna have to edit this out. I'm like, edit a bunch of shit out. Yeah, that looks so gross. Anyway, I almost transferred to a university this year, but it didn't really work out with um, like financial aid and like dues and everything and just like being able to like find housing like in, on so, such short notice. And honestly, I'm just looking forward to going there. I'm the kind of person where if I don't get the, the independence or freedom I need, I feel literally terrible. 
ever since I was in high school, I never really like thought about college too much. Like I've always cared about grades and I've always gotten good grades. I've only gotten like one C in high school. When the time came, like my parents were like, oh uh, yeah, no, because they thought that I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself and they didn't want me to go to college, like not knowing for some reason. They, they were just like, yeah, no, like you're not gonna apply if you don't know what you want to do. And I'm like, but I have ideas, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, it was good that I didn't go so anyway, I guess background about myself, like, I'm 19, I'm gonna be 20 in December, just like a year away from being 21, I'm so excited to be honest, like, I don't know, like, a lot of people get upset about, like, growing up and having to deal with, like, adult responsibilities, but, like, honestly, like, I'm, like, for it, like, I'm ready to deal with it, I don't want to be treated like a kid anymore. But I didn't really do that much, I did work a lot, like, literally this past week I worked, like, 44 hours, I, like, making money, honestly. And what I do for my job is I'm a server. At, I'm a server at a Mexican restaurant, so that's what I do. I'm using the uh, Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel. This is cute, but I feel like you probably get a cheaper one elsewhere. But okay, my brows like look more intact. In high school, I did band like all the time, so I was in. I was in wind ensemble, so that was like during class or like during my school schedule. And I also did marching band. I also was in jazz band, which was like after school commitment. Triam, which is like a music honor society. Honestly, I was in that for like a year at my newer high school. I was just kind of like in it and got the cord, so whoops. Now I'm just gonna put some primer on, do my concealer. I don't wear foundation anymore, so. And I just use the Maybelline Baby Skin. Honestly, I want to use cruel, all cruelty-free makeup, but I know this is definitely not. I know Maybelline isn't, and that hurts me, but this is like, I bought this like a while ago, and I just want to be able to use it up because it's better to use what you have and then not purchase it again instead of being wasteful and throwing it away. People are like, oh, like, how are you cruelty-free with makeup, but you still eat meat? Like, doesn't make any sense, but it's like, I don't know. Like, it's just, I like eating meat. Like, I'm sorry if that sounds ignorant to people, but... It's just a really expensive, like, lifestyle to be vegan, to be honest. But anyway, I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape for concealer. There she is. Oh, I was saying I use cruelty-free, I try to use cruelty-free makeup, but I don't, I'm not vegan or anything. I feel like with the <laughs> There are obviously better ways to test makeup, so. I'm being controversial. I was kidding. I was just like, you might not want to include this in this. Wrong. <laughs> Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, made ramen. Mm. I don't know, like, you know how to pick a lot of different ratios of like water or like whatever uh -huh. called? That looks good. Ramen. I don't know how much you wanted. Wait, I'm being low? No, I said they're so low. Oh. <laughs> this looks so white on my face. <laughs> There's like better ways to test it, not on animals, so it's just kind of like, why would you support that? There are other ways to do that. <laughs> Do I want to be scary? Ooh, sure. I don't really like hanging out with like certain people or like I like I'm really picky about who I hang out with because there are some instances where I've hung out with people and I'm like, damn, I'm never gonna do this again. <laughs> I think we've all felt that. Not like, oh, you have to be worth my time, but like kind of. Like I feel like I've wasted my time like hanging out with people who like don't like just aren't good friends to me and stuff like that, so I'm like more careful about the way I hang out with it. This is Milk Makeup Bronzer. Alright, now I'm just gonna set all this. This is the Milk Makeup Blurring Powder, whatever it is, and just like light. Me trying not to get her white bed sheets dirty, like. <laughs> In person, it doesn't look that bad. I think it's just this lighting. And also, I'm using the Wet n Wild contouring palette thing. This thing is the best. I love this. But yeah, I just put some blush on. This is Smith and Cult Peach Blush. I got this from Ulta, and it's like a coral, kind of sparkly brush blush. This is like my base. I try to make it look natural as possible. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm pretty much almost done. Like, oh, fuck. I like completely switched like what I wanted to do. Like a composer. Like I wanted to like be able to like compose like pieces for like movies and like stuff like that. Just kind of like John Williams type stuff. Milk makeup, Kush mascara. 
I've come to realize that like what I want most, like when I'm older or in my life is just to have like my own family, which just sounds really basic, but I just like have always valued like, I don't know, like, like being able to be with someone I love for the rest of my life and then just like being able to raise your own kids and you know, just have a wholesome family. Like that's honestly what I want. My family life hasn't been that good. It's been the best. It could probably be better and improve over time, but I just want to be able to have like raise my kids differently than how I was raised. Or I still care about financial stability. I can barely tell because I have short eyelashes. Honestly, with the breaking point of me not wanting to do that anymore was when I would come to my band teacher in my high school. She was not helpful at all. She pretty much was just like going on and on and on about like how her, the college she went to was like superior than the one I wanted to go to at the time and how like, oh, it's better, blah, blah, blah. She was just like shoving it down my throat. And then she was also just saying like, oh, like this isn't an easy like major thing to do. Like you have to put a lot of time and effort into it. Del Wispy lashes. I always use these. But yeah, I still do enjoy playing, I still do enjoy music, but it's just something I have put on hold for right now. And once I transfer, I'm gonna start doing it again because I do wanna be involved with the school a little bit. Like, they're yeah, looking at the difference. Honestly thought about like, I don't know if I could do this. I feel like every university has it, but it'd be really cool to study abroad for like the summer. I don't know where I would wanna go. I would have to see what the options are. I don't know how much money it would be either, but I think it'd be really cool. Cause I do wanna like be able to travel and experience things like that, which sounds really basic. I feel like everyone is like that, but point of like I go to a lot of concerts approximately like once a month I go to one being able to see artists I love like in person was a really good experience for me some of them have been better than others but and I'm actually gonna see Tame Impala this weekend with one of my friends which is gonna be really cool because I love Tame Impala I think it's crazy because I feel like the year is almost over and it's gonna be 2020 which is crazy like I've lived like every single year in the 2000s September I'm gonna be seeing Tyler the Creator which is like really excited love him like the highest amount of it in the pit was I think Travis Scott for his concert I paid like 150 or something to be in the pit and that was kind of a lot so. but it was worth it it was like one of my favorite concerts cool with Travis but was Jaden Smith's gonna perform too it's gonna be really cool um and then in October I'm gonna see Rich Brian um I love Joji I love Rich Brian Higher Brothers all of them. But yeah, I've also met Denzel Curry. That was only 75, I think, to meet him and a ticket. So that was really cool experience. So, um, and some of my friends from work wanted to see Banks. But yeah, and the highlight I used is the ColourPop highlighter and Flexitarian. It's really, really bright. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna use the Morphe setting mist. I use the Urban Decay one too, but I honestly like this one better. It's cheaper, so I'm probably just gonna still using this one. Go to makeup, I look so pale still. I think it's just the light, because in real life it looks like my, my natural skin. So I'm just gonna put my bangs down. I have the Glossier uh, lip gloss. All right, that is it. That was just my go-to makeup. I feel like this wasn't that exciting, but you know, got to know me and got to see my makeup process if any of you ever wanted to know what I do. That's about it. And I'm really happy that I was able to make this video. Um, but I'm really excited for it to post and see what you guys think. And if people like comment and stuff, like if you're interested in like seeing like a channel I would make, then definitely like let her know and I'll do it, like I'll actually try and make one. And stuff I would probably post, I probably do like more get ready with me's. I do interesting makeup sometimes. Like I, do, I like doing colorful eyeshadow and stuff. Um, maybe like vlogs of like concerts or like stuff I do, or just like sit down videos where I talk or like talk about different topics, maybe like commentary type videos. Don't really know, probably just do whatever I want. So if you're interested in me like making more videos like on my own separate channel, then like let her know, let me know. So that's about it. But thank you for watching and watch more of our videos and like literally subscribe to her. She puts a lot of work into her videos. So that's all. Bye.